Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, is a shadow and type of the wedding supper of the Lamb, the Lamb who was slain and purchased his bride with his own precious blood, is coming again to take his bride. What a future. Shalom. In God's word, we learn about beautiful future that is awaiting all those that belong and believe in the Lord Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah. In the book of Leviticus, in chapter 23, we read of a wonderful feast that is called the Feast of Sukkot in Hebrew and Tabernacles in English. This feast is a wonderful feast that speaks of the future day when there will be a blessing for the whole world in the coming days. We read as the Lord spoke to the people of Israel through Moses in Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 33. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this month, the seventh month, shall be the feast of tabernacles, Sukkot, for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be an holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be an holy convocation unto you. And ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. These are the feasts of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation, to offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering and a meal offering, a sacrifice and drink offerings, everything upon his day, beside the Shabbats of the Lord, and beside your gifts, and beside all your vows, and beside all your free will offering, which ye shall give unto the Lord. Also, in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days. On the first day shall be a Shabbat, and on the eighth day shall be a Shabbat. Ye shall take you on the first day the boughs of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and the boughs of thick trees, and willows of the brook, and ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God seven days, and ye shall keep it a feast unto the Lord seven days in the year. It shall be a statute forever in your generation. Ye shall celebrate it in the seventh month. Ye shall dwell in booth seven days, all that are Israelites born shall dwell in booth. That your generation may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in booth. When I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your God. And Moses declared unto the children of Israel the feasts of the Lord. My dear friend, this is the seventh and final feast that God gave to Israel and he was sharing this with his people Israel to speak of the future wonderful day that is yet to come. A day where there will be rejoicing, a day where there will be celebration, a day when everyone that have trusted in the Lord Jesus the Messiah will enjoy this wonderful period of time of the kingdom days which the tabernacle speaks of this wonderful uh, celebration. You notice what we do read in these verses that the Lord required from Israel to celebrate, to rejoice in his presence, 
that he wants you and I as well to rejoice in his presence uh, today. We do read in Leviticus chapter uh, 23 that Israel is to rejoice. In a future day, it speaks about a wonderful time, a day that will come in the final days in which the a bride of Christ will, on the one hand, will marry the, the lamb, the bridegroom, but also will enjoy a wonderful time of celebration. And we are to be glad uh, because this is when both the bride of Christ, the church, and Israel, the nation, and the whole world will enjoy a wonderful time of rejoicing. In the book of Revelation, chapter 19 and verse 7, we read, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor unto him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. The marriage will take place. But then notice what we do read. Not only that the marriage of the Lamb will take place in heaven, but then we read of the wonderful marriage supper that is uh, going to come. And we read, And to her, verse 8 and 9, And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And then Revelation 19, 9 continues to say, And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he hath saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. How wonderful it is that the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Sukkot, is a shadow and a picture and a type of the future restoration of Israel as a nation back to the land. And the Messianic kingdom in a future day. And there will be the wedding supper of the Lamb where the Lord Jesus the Messiah and his heavenly bride, the church, and his earthly people Israel will enjoy in uh, the person of the Lord and in this future uh, wonderful day that is ahead. And so we read in Revelation 19 and verse 7, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him to the person of the Lord Jesus the Messiah who came from heaven and died for the sin of this world in order that he will save whosoever will believe on him will receive forgiveness of sins so my dear friend let us be glad and rejoice and give honor unto him. Why? Because for the marriage of the Lamb is going to come very shortly in a soon coming day. God bless you, my friend.